Hey everyone, it's Rebecca and I am back today with another fun and fabulous background for our book of notes as we journal the word. Let's get started. I have a freshly sharpened a bunch of watercolor pencils. I'm sure they're watercolor because they work differently. We're going to use just a couple of very simple stencils. Stencil brush and a um, artist brush. And we're just going to play today. I felt like I needed to have some fun, fun, fun. So we're just going to make some big flower patterns and this is another one that you can do with your family and your children. I'm trying to gear some things here um, that you can have fun uh, as a family activity because I know a lot of us right now are searching for ways to entertain ourselves. Okay so let's just get in here. I'm going to take my yellow and I'm going to just draw a great big five petal flower in here and I'm just gonna and you saw I have it on the side I wasn't drawing like this I've got it on the side and I'm just going to scumble around with my yellow pencil to lay some color on the paper I think that one needs to be a little bit bigger Okay, and then I am going to take my artist brush, any kind of artist brush will do, and I am going to activate that watercolor pencil with water and see how that magic happens. It now becomes a watercolor flower. How cool is that? All right, so that's one of our giant flowers. And I'm gonna let that dry. And I'm gonna come in here with, let me see, what color do I wanna do? Let's make a green flower. Hmm. How often do we see green flowers? <laughs> so again, I'm just gonna make some five rounded shapes. This one's going to be off the page. And again, stay on the side. I think I could have sharpened this one a little bit better. But just scumble is a artist term where you just kind of lay some paint around in there. So I'm going to get my water and activate it now. And that's a pretty color, isn't it? see how fun this is. Watercolor pencils are extremely fun because especially with little children they think it's magic when you add the water to it. And it kind of is, isn't it? Okay, so let's get, this is pink, so I think that'll work well with our little experiment here. So let me come in and just again Make some big loops with the side of my pencil. Color it in. And go ahead and put some water on it. Is 
This is so much fun. I could do stuff like this all day long. Just be in my little studio and play and make fun things. Sometimes we're serious and sometimes we are fun. So I think that's pretty good. Now let's... That's not quite dry. I was hoping those would dry faster. But I used a plethora of water. Duh, Rebecca. So I am going to come in and let's see what shape do I want. I think I'm going to do these little squares. I think that's pretty cute. And I am just going to come in let me get my purple and I think I'm just going to draw some of these squares in here. I am just going to come in, and normally we don't do this, but I'm just going to wet my um, stencil brush, and I think I'm going to get a little bit of that water off. I don't. I just want it damp. I don't want it totally wet, and I'm just going to come in here and swirl around and see if that works. see what kind of a mess I made. That's pretty cute. Again, it's rustic, but I love rustic. That's kind of always been a style of mine. It certainly is my decorating style. Let's put one over here. And go ahead and just twirl that brush around. And how fun is that? That's a cute, fun little flower. Okay, so let's, what color should we try on there? Let's try blue on the green flower. And I'm just going to quickly come in and make some circles in here. Just match those, match some of the circles we did before, and just come in and put a couple more in down there. And I, I'm going to match these up here very closely. And put a couple more over here. Oops, maybe just get one down there. An extra one down there. I think that works. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How cute are these? Okay, so we've made squares, we've made circles. Try to make some stars down here, I think, on this one. Yeah, I think I like that. Let's make some stars. Okay, so I think you see that one worked a little less well because I ha didn't take a lot of water off, so it ran under, but I think it's cute enough. You could come back and just do the stars if you want freehand. I 
I think we're good. I think we're good. I think the more I mess with it, the more messy it's going to get. So then we can come in and make some pretty big stems. Just freehand some stems right down the page. And I think those are cute. Projects, art projects. And let's bring a little water in here. I think we're pretty good here. So there's the finished image. How fun was that? So get into your creative space today and just have some fun. If you don't have the watercolor pencils, just try it with regular colored pencils. They won't activate like this, but they will draw nonetheless. So just use what you have. Just use what you have. Read the kids stash. I know the kids have some colored pencils somewhere. Anyway, have fun with this. I love you to pieces and I will see you back here tomorrow as we make another fun and fabulous background in our book of notes as we journal the word. May joy be with you all.